Hey everybody, we are here for New Comics Wednesday, and we'd like to start by wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving, because I'm sure this video will probably be out tomorrow, uh, which is Thanksgiving. Impressive. We're, thank you. We're going to dive right into this. I picked up Teen Titans. Justin, would you like to take the camera? Okay, so uh, I don't think I ever told you this, Justin, but I did end up finding my Ghost Rider 4 and my Teen Titans uh, 23, I think is the one I was missing. So I was actually able to catch up on all my comics. Uh, they've been really good. Uh, so I'm very excited to dive into this. We kind of left on a very climactic uh, cliffhanger where... Uh, now I won't go into details. Not yet. No spoilers. No spoilers. But it was really good if you're not reading the Teen Titans lineup. I really do enjoy the writing for it. Because uh, as you guys know the team changed up in issue 20. So we have uh, three new members of the Titans. And they're still learning how to gel together. Mesh together. It's really uh, a fun process getting to watch all them groove. And I love the art. Justin praises the art of Batman. And I'm going to be honest, I love the art of Teen Titans. We, you guys, If you go back to the beginning of this show, Justin and I talked about not liking the art of new comics, but man, I think we've both just found comics with likable characters, good writing, and enjoyable art. So I think we're both happy, but uh, I'm going to pass it over to him and let him share his thoughts. See, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, we've, we've pointed out a few times this season that we've sort of come out of our comic book shells in, in some ways. And, uh, you know, keep. I, I've, I've traditionally been a Marvel guy, I'm not going to lie. I picked up Batman 59 today um, with a really neat looking cover. But I've always been a Marvel guy, mostly as, as far as the characters go. And, man, it's just one of my biggest complaints you know was the art style of modern comics you know i preferred you know 80s and uh, certain part of the 90s for comics and really this series right here has really you know turned me around like i mean i really don't have anything to complain about like it, it looks amazing it's probably the most amazing modern comic that i know of and i don't read that many series so there's probably a lot more out there that are really really good but Man, I, I love the covers, and the, the the covers don't deceive. The inside looks great. But um, last time, you know, the comic dealt with the penguin, and penguin was on the cover, and that was a very good read. I don't want to spoil anything, but it was it was very good. I don't know. I mean, it says the Dark Knight Criminal, so I don't know if this is necessarily a direct continuation. I mean, it, it probably is, but from the cover, you probably wouldn't be able to tell, but. It's probably one of the more tame covers recently, but it, it looks great, as always, and I'm excited to read it. It's a great series. Can't recommend it enough. Do you know who your artist is for that one? I'm pretty sure, well, I knew it from Twitter, but I, I mostly know King because I follow him on there, but I, I've the seen writer? the artist. Yes, he's the he's the writer. But the, um, shout out to Gamer Saving. <laughs> I've seen it on Twitter. And I just can't remember the names, and I've seen, like, different covers and stuff that they do. Like, you know, they get put out so far in advance, and I'm like, I look at them and try to guess what it's going to be about. Man, it looks so epic, so. I, I just wanted to give these artists a shout-out, because going into right. this show, I didn't think modern art and comics could look. Which, I'll be honest, there there's modern comics that have not restored my faith. Yes, and there absolutely. And that have, and then I think... Okay, I just wasn't looking in the right places. <laughs> you know, Cosmic Ghost Rider, the art, uh, I was not sold on it through the mm -hmm. first couple of books. I was like, okay, it's passable. It's definitely better than a lot of stuff, but I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it anywhere near like Teen Titans art. But um, without going into too much detail, the final fight in, in the Cosmic Ghost Rider, now that I've got to read issue five, has just some of some of the best art I've seen Marvel do, awesome. and I got to show you at some point some panels. I'd, I'd love it. to see it. And uh, their use of color is just right. phenomenal in that. That gets so. me. That gets me excited, like knowing that. Like that's awesome. Yes, and it's good to hear. And uh, so, really, if you're just a bitter old hag person like we are, yes. you know, just yes, we are. Just open up your heart a little bit to some new comics. Not maybe mm -hmm. not all of them, but some of them. I'm sure you can find samples online of what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, and so, 
sometimes the story probably makes it worth it. Like sometimes the art style matches the story better. But yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I could honestly make a whole video on art, so I'm not. Gonna, oh, I know. I'm not I know. Go, we, like, way too we could do a there, separate but, video. But yeah. I, uh, also, I miss Spider Geddon this week. So whenever Spider Geddon uh, comes out again, pretty soon I'll probably get in the next Spider Man, and Spider Geddon, and probably Wolverine will probably be coming up not too yeah, long probably. from now. So yeah, that we'll, we'll have a lot coming up. Yeah. It's gotta survive the holidays. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to take this time to shout out um, Infinity Flux's Kickstarter. I don't know if you know about this since you're not on Facebook, but. Uh, have they I'll done anything on Twitter? Right. Does it have something to do with Flash? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> they're they're opening um, what if a it is on their comic. What they say, comic book and game style pub. Yeah. I was reading some of the Kickstarter. There's a lot of backing tiers. Uh, so if you're interested, if you live in the Chattanooga area, Infinity Flux is uh, trying to open a a pub, a place to hang out, enjoy beverages, and Hall talk. Of Heroes. Hall of Heroes is what they're gonna call it, uh, and and just talk about nerd stuff and enjoy. Will they be serving water? Is that not what I said to you, Jessica? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we we don't drink, so uh, a lot of the stuff is like enjoy your favorite beverage. They already have like, huh? their their pledge or whatever is nine thousand. They're at seven thousand. Oh, uh, they're gonna they're gonna oh, shatter God. it. Hurry up and donate. <laughs> um, Twenty eight days to go. Forty eight backers. I was on there like two days ago. It was already over four thousand. So they're gonna oh, smash that's it. Awesome. That's uh, great if, news. If you live in the Chattanooga area, or Chattanooga is just a, a little drive from you, and you would like a place to hang out, um, enjoy drinks, enjoy comics, enjoy company. And just, I mean, it says a little bit about it. I think that's inverted, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably. Either way, if I don't forget, I'll throw a link down in the bottom. Uh, they're great people. We've seen them now at two, three cons. Three. And we've been to their store a couple times. It says Infinity Flux has a dream of expanding into Chattanooga's first gaming and comic book themed pub, but we need your help. I mean, they're getting it. They are. They are. So, uh, yeah, check that out. It's a uh, Kickstarter. So I think Kickstarter's all or nothing. Okay. If you donate your money and they don't make it, you don't I was just gonna read this lose. Thing. The Hall of Heroes will allow... Okay, sorry, we don't know what happened there. Okay, the Hall of Heroes will allow Infinity Flux to have additional space for events such as trivia nights, drink and draws, holiday and themed parties, gaming tournaments, festivals, and just about every fun thing we can cook up. It also allows us to have food and drink to cater such festivities. We will have beer on draft and in bottles, food, sweets, coffee, tea, and so much more. Also, with changes to the building, buildings, other tenants will have an additional 12 parking spaces available around back. We imagine the Hall of Heroes to be a cozy environment where friends can build memories while enjoying the things they love. Thank you, Jessica. Such an elegant reader. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one. Go check out the Infinity Flux page. Let us know what comics you're reading as usual. Are you reading Batman? Are you reading Teen Titans? Did you read Cosmic Ghost Rider? Um, Spider-Man, Spider-Geddon? Uh, Jessica, what are you reading? Man-Eaters and... Man-Eaters, Blackbird. Farmhand, Blackbird. That's the um, one I can never remember the name of. Yeah. Those are the two image I'm reading. Right. Are you reading any of the stuff we're reading? What should we be reading? My camcorder is about to die. So that's going to do it. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Woo! Thankful, Woo! thankful for comics. <laughs> yeah. We haven't addressed it, but can we say that we're thankful for everything Stan Lee did? Yes. Would that yes. be fitting? Yes. Very thankful for Stan Lee. We, we, we've talked about doing a, a separate video, which we still may get around to, but our time is short, so we don't have time to gush over him like we would love to. Some of but, our uh, favorite characters might not be around. It was too soon. He was too young. He was definitely too young. Yes. I just wish he would have been in better health towards the end of it. No doubt. That's my only wish. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great holiday and enjoy your comics, family, and food.